I thought it would be kind of neat during this Advent season to have a daily, I call it devotional, just words that we can think about. Uh, you know, Advent actually, uh, in technical terms, it means the arrival of somebody important. Uh, in in our Christian uh, theology, theology and everything, um, it means the anticipation, the the waiting for the the first coming of Christ or the the second coming of Christ. Uh, either way, the the word that I want us to think about for our first devotional today is anticipation. The Israelites, as we know, waited a long, long time for their Messiah to to arrive, and it, he he arrived in a way that they they didn't really expect. They were looking for a warrior. They were looking for somebody that would you know uh, clear the way and and build that kingdom of God on earth. And what they got was a baby, a very innocent, uh, fragile, uh, humble child, uh, born in poverty. Um, born uh, as an immigrant, uh, born as a homeless person, and one that welcomed the same uh, to celebrate uh, that first coming. So what do you think the second coming of Christ will be like? Uh, you know, we talk about, uh, we oftentimes we think of heaven as some faraway place, but the, the, the Israelites uh, believed that what, when we were talking about uh, the, the kingdom of God, that it would be made right here on earth, that, that God would actually come and establish a kingdom here, and it would be done first through the Israelites, and then it would spread out through all the people. Uh, Christ's ministry is the, was the, the, the first step in making that possible. It was the, the thing that started in Israel and spread out to everyone, to where everyone is, is part of that. And, and now, uh, what do we anticipate? What do we hope for? Do we hope for uh, things to be right? Uh, do we hope for uh, the things that we personally want? What is it that you are anticipating? When you think of a, a, a relationship with Jesus Christ, what are you anticipating? Are you anticipating the, the second coming of Christ? Or are you anticipating, waiting for, longing for uh, a relationship with Christ in your life right now? Uh, sometimes it's the anticipation, it's the waiting uh, where we find a lot of our blessings. We live in a world today where we expect things to happen just at the drop of a hat. You know, we, we, we push a button and we, we get it, you know. Uh, even, uh, you know, microwave popcorn seems to just take forever. But let's think about microwave popcorn for a second. Pretty cool when you hear that first pop, isn't it? That anticipation, you wait for it. And then, you know, the, the, the rest of the popcorn starts to pop and you can start to smell it. You take in all those, you know, the sensory as you're waiting for the popcorn. Uh, waiting for anything can actually be kind of like that if we just take the time to notice what's around us. Whatever you're anticipating, I hope that you find the blessings along the way. I hope that you take that time and relish that time that it takes. Uh, that you see the sights, the smells, the hearing things, all, all, of, all of the things that you can do. And as we wait for the second coming of Christ, what are we doing now in the meantime? How are we helping to establish that kingdom? How are we helping to acknowledge the kingdom of Christ in our lives and with the lives of our neighbor? What are we doing to help build that anticipation and that excitement and that blessing? It doesn't have to be a huge fanfare of stuff. Remember how Christ entered this world. Poor, humble, homeless, foreigner, and welcomed the same. As we anticipate the second coming of Christ, I hope that we take note of those blessings along the way. Love God, love yourself, love your neighbor.